my piece from AZ Mary Jane is the case that they gave me Trips from the west coast stop real fast DC Pharma show the masses how to grow grass No till the method be attentive slow learner the Raw sheets turn that gas to a slow burner Big worm got the strains in variety Jeff Sessions trying to fuck up the society Cannabis community rise up eyes up Fight for your right to light or eyes shut Loud from the motherland I'm getting high in stadium Super gas no clone it grown with vibranium Try coaching Council of the grow why self-sufficiency, that's how we need our smoke ops. Alien dream, turn girl scouts into soldiers Smoking doors, contact if you come closer Every Monday, 10 to 11 p.m. Focus on that grow, watch the show with your BM Comedy bud, interviews, real lit The DC Pharma show, educate real shit The DC Pharma, the DC Pharma, the DC Pharma, the DC Pharma show I want to grow my own shit. Is that DC Pharma? That DC Pharma? That DC Pharma? Heavenly OG. Girl Scout Cookies. Alien Dream. Camp Dog. OG Kush. White Widow. Granddaddy Perm. Green Crack. Bubba Kush. AK 47.
Tuning in to another episode of the DC Farmer Show. What's going on out there, everybody in the live chat that's tuning in? What's up, J Rock? Yeah, um, got my panel here with me today. Of course, y'all know Dean. Dean Poop on IG. Yeah, on yeah. IG. And yeah, um, yeah. Doughboy. Doughboy, what's your IG? Because you stay changing this. You stay changing your <laughs> you IG to, name, man. man. To, man. Everybody always watching, man. A1 <laughs> underscore Doughboy. A1 underscore Doughboy, man. You got about four of them, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, thanks for tuning in this week. I definitely want to shout out uh, the DC um, the DC connoisseur on um, IG. He definitely came through the studio today and dropped off some, uh, this is real interesting, uh, baby clams or mussels. Now, how he harvests these is he works down, he works with crabs. So these things stick to the crab pots or whatever. These are uh, shell mussels or whatever. So he said they're great for the garden. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm working on my garden now, my outdoor garden. I'm still getting it together. So when I finally finish that, I will definitely use this in the soil mix. So he caught them junk? No, he just scraped them off the side of his pot when he go crabbing, I guess. Oh he, shit! He All crab the crazy. So whatever, yeah. 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 That's all. I ain't See, never seen it. <laughs> I ain't called none of these before. He must nah. use a net or some shit. They little too. Look, yeah, look hell junk. yeah. I'm joking. Oh, real yeah. little I too. I put this shit with some sunflower seeds or some shit. Nah, don't you want to eat that? Hell no. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, I'm. You know, I I, I get this the gist stink, of it because uh we use crab um <laughs> um crab meal um when I soil mix and all that so harvesting this straight from the Chesapeake Bay. Hey, that's what's up. Damn. So I'm gonna see how that works out. Hey, um, what's been going on with you this weekend? Man, I ain't do too much. Just chill with the kids, smoke. That's about it, man. Been playing Madden though. Been yeah. looking for some competition out there. Yeah, you know? time for that, man. Yeah, man. Well, I my know. Son, yeah, yeah, my son be trying to get me involved <laughs> in that, man. Um, with uh, this week, uh, last, what, the last weekend, I think I did a cooking show, man. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cooking show. I'm back from the jump. So yeah, oh, yeah. I did a cooking show <laughs> what last you was week. Cooking, uh, uh, some chicken kebabs, man. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, Puerto Rican style, though, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool, man. Shout out to uh, a prin- uh, a Princess Pia Pot to Curry for having me on her show, mm-hmm. Infused and Confused. Um, y'all make sure y'all check her out every Tuesday on Listen Vision Live. She does, a, like I said, a cooking show with Infused Foods. Yeah. So, uh... You know, she took one of my um, 
my summertime favorites, and, and we made it into something infused, man. What about you, though, boy? Man, you got a lot of smoke going on over there, man. Absolutely, man. I've been looking for growth spots. That's all I've been doing, man. man. You got jars. What you got in them jars? I got some. Uh, I got some OG cookies over here. And I, I got some type of OG. I don't know what it is. You know how people be throwing names on. It just smell good to me. So, you know, I just so like so it. that's supposed to be OG what? This OG cheese right here. OG yeah. I agree with you on that, like how people throw names on everything, but as long as it smells good and it smoke good, man, hope for the yeah. best, man. Yeah. It is a lot of names thrown out there, but, you know, it's part of the game right now. You got to yeah, know. Yeah. I, I hope at this point we know how to tell good cannabis from bad cannabis. Yeah, yeah. People all hit that though. Trust me. Shout out JoJo. Shout out Highly Motivated on, on, on live chat watching us right now. Uh, but, yeah, man, um, like I said, it's a lot of... Uh, how my man DC Sprague like to say, uh, bushwhackers out uh -huh. there. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and shout out to Sprague, man. Uh, cannabis community out there, be on the lookout, man. Y'all, y'all know DC Sprague. Y'all know the dog he had. Um, if you know something, say something, man. It's a fifteen hundred dollar reward, dog. So if anything, I know you want that money. So damn, Sprague, you went from a hundred to fifteen. It, it, hey, man, oh, that dog man. worth every yeah, bit of it, though, man. It's not a dog. It's yeah. a child, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, shower, they go the picture right there. Like I said, man, fifteen hundred to anybody out there who sees this dog or got any information, or if the motherfucker that took the dog trying to get rid of it. Hey, half a zip. here you go, <laughs> man. Half a zip for the fire, and you getting the half a zip. <laughs> so, uh, anybody out there in the uh, cannabis community, uh, not in the can, anybody out here in the city. In the DMV area, keep a lookout for that puppy right there. The cutest thing. You you won't be able to miss it if you see it. Get in touch with DC Scroggle at DC Scroggle on IG. DM him. Like I said, fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. That's almost that's almost enough to get you a pound of some <laughs> mid grade maybe out here. <laughs> I don't know, but it's enough to get you started with something, man. So uh, I, I hope my man finds his dog, man. And, I, and if anybody out there got any info, go ahead and um, send it out, man. DM him. So uh, like the title says today, man, we're going to be talking about branding, man. The people I have with me tonight, um, uh, it's Exclusive Chief Masters on IG, at Exclusive Chief Masters on IG again, and the GIF, um, the GIF of 20 DC. Now, these, these folks stood out to me on IG, man. Cause like I said, a uh, uh, marketing man. I I, I wholeheartedly believe in marketing, aggressive marketing, or any type of in-your-face continuous marketing. You know that's the only way you're gonna be successful, man. Like, you know, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if you know this, right? When people complain about situations, right? But don't shit really get done about situations unless you like that assholes that keep nagging and nagging and nagging and nagging. Right. And, you know, they're going to be like, man, I'm going to get him out the way, man. Right. It's the same thing with marketing, man. You, you you do that with marketing. You just keep being in your face, in your face, in your face. At some point in time, eventually, someone's going to be like, well, shit. They with the movement. Let, let me see what they, they talking shit. about, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There must be something to this. So... Um, like I said, that's who I got with me um, here today is uh, especially at the 420 GIF DC. I know I'm saying that fucked up, man. It sound, it's sounding so wrong coming out of my mouth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm smoking. But uh, these, uh, I'm going to let them explain it more when they come up here. But these folks, Ashley, man, they, they give you an environment, a safe and creative environment for any... Um, New entrepreneurs out there that's trying to do something, or you know, creative workplace. Yeah, People that yeah. like to smoke, you don't want to get judged, criticized, or whatever. <laughs> you know, so yeah. we definitely got that. And, um, like I said before, we got exclusive chief master man. His marketing's bad, boy. Don't get in his way. Um, <laughs> it, if your feelings is soft, don't say nothing, man. <laughs> so, Dang. you know, uh. And these are the folks that we got here tonight, and I, I really appreciate them coming through because um, I believe we need more people like this, man, that's in your face with what we don't, yeah, with our movement. Me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, with that being said, I know I should be shouting out a whole lot of other people. Yeah, Troll Masters. Shout out to Troll Masters. Thank y'all, <laughs> man, for uh, dealing with me uh, and entrusting me with y'all. 
equipment. It's working beautifully. I just um, want to say how that grow going. I seen you in there with your little. Yeah, I'm tired That's a good, good question, man. The grow is going good, man. But like, um, I was talking to Scrogger earlier, and I was telling him, man, um, what I was telling Scrogger, I know I got one bed. It's all clones, right? And the other bed is all straight from seeds, regular seeds. So um, that bed is doing fucking outstanding, lovely. I mean, it's just shining every time I come in there. I, as much as I try to, like, put them back in the trellis, neck, calm them back down, the next day they pop them back up. So um, with that one, it's because I'm still, like I said, this greenhouse is still new to me. I'm still dialing in. So everything's not always perfect. So I, what I've noticed with that, um, with the clone side of it, is they're a little more sensitive than the um, regular seeds yeah. or, or everything that I started from seeds because the clones seem to react to every little change in the environment, mm. no matter how short of a period it might be. Oh, I got everything in there. I, I definitely bet. got everything in there. So, um, the mother sound like they thriving in there. The what? The mother plants. Yeah, the, the sealers, they, yeah, they, they getting they it in. It, yeah. Now, you got some of them clothes are definitely doing their thing, man, but like I said, they're more, to me, what I've been noticing from um from this round is that they're more s susceptible to their environment. They're more sensitive. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, um, second round is definitely going to be more better. Um, these clones has definitely been through it. Who, who knows how many times. Yeah, I got blue dreams in there. Come on, man. How many times has that shit been cloned over? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, that's another thing you got to keep in mind. It's like, how, many, how long these cuts been around. So that also has an effect on how, you know, everything grows in your environment, man. But um, as far as the seabed go, though, like I said, that shit is shining, man. Them things is coming through. I got some strains in there, man. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I had grape ox before, but that plant, I know it's, it's indica heavy, man. It's short and stocky. <laughs> and that motherfucker bush out real nice, man. Look, y'all got me talking about growing, man. Yeah, it's we, part we, of the show, yeah, right? I know, man. But y'all got me caught up, man. I got mean, me talking we, about we, my shit. It ain't about me tonight. It ain't about me tonight, man. You wanted some insight, so. Yeah. The, the garden is going great so far. <laughs> All right, look. Short uh, but, simple, huh? Huh? That's a short simple. Yeah, it it it, it <laughs> is, man. Uh, it, but it is. It's going good. I'm loving the experience with it, man. Like I said, it's my first time. Working with a hybrid greenhouse, working with natural sunlight and stuff like that. So you so, think it's better than the first grow? Yeah, I think it's gonna be way better than. than right, that. from what I'm yeah. saying, that yeah, man, yeah. you doing the darn thing. Right. Every day look good to be. My last grow was nice <laughs> though, but that this joint crushing it. Man, we down yeah, chop the big ass monster plants now. Yeah. <laughs> this joint crushing it though, cause I got more plants, more variations. Um, they seem to be responding better to the natural light. Then, um, I got damage Jay's just going around and shit. What's this? What I'm smoking on? That's the cheese. So I noticed that, uh, the thing about natural light is that, um, when it spills out, it spills evenly. I mean, it's fucking light right. from the sun. You know exactly. what I'm saying? It's not going to be a little more stronger here. It's not going to be stronger on the edge of the room or not. It's going to be naturally distributed. So the plants to that, they react in like tremendous, man. Like I'm, the more, uh, I put, the plant, the plants through the trellis net, more tops come up, and that's the goal of putting, you know, right. weaving them through the trellis net. And I'm not even topping them, man. You know, man, you get uh, that from topping. You know, right, you get yeah. that from topping. You're trying to get more heads. Now I'm weaving them through the trellis net, and the the that's intensity that's, of the sun and the light yeah. that I'm getting in there is just creating more tops Dang. coming off the side branches. That's super funny. easy. Oh, that's tight. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I, it's still an experiment. Don't know how the end game's going to end out. So far, it's looking okay though. But um, with that being said, man, we're going to go ahead and um, introduce our... We're going to take a 30-second break and introduce our, our first guest for the night, which is uh, the GIF 420 DC. Yeah. Super 
Ray Kush, Master Kush, Skywalker OG, God Gift, LA Confidential. Buckle your seatbelt, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Watch me set it ablaze. I don't even blame you niggas, y'all just set in your ways. Don't get jammed up and wake up with a tech in your face. This a marathon, slim, don't get left in the race. Trump bitch ass, wanna see the death of my race. I'm a OG that GO, so I was smelling like BO. Make you slow, no Neo, like you pop with my amigo. You can't blaze with our puff, nigga. You to that huff, nigga. Lemon haze had them stuck, nigga. Baby lungs can't fuck with you. I'm in the building like fuck the system. I'm puffing as I'm a fucking menace. Cause I slump the witness. When I smoke, don't get you high. So nigga, mind your fucking business. Slow down. My bad in high school, I was in high class. Graduated with a 3.5. Now the teachers buy my gas. Ride pass, 12, middle, finger erect. Fuck them. DC farmer got a new string. So we gon' puff it. <laughs> Toes, not gators. Show love, not haters. I'm 
switching over like crossfaders To a better time and place where it's safe And they can't judge a nigga by the color of his face But by the content of the way that I spit these letters I'm kicking it with white boys and old navy sweaters Ball cap low on my eye cause sometimes I'm Listen to my style so much I'm just trying to get by I'm just saying For real I'm just saying Ladies and gentlemen AC cooler than I ever was. I went from bubbling to a better buzz. Hey, check this, cuz I did it with no airplay. Wild out in the lot, well, that's hearsay. I'm just trying to do my thing, shine like a star. Skills in the place, banner, you know who we are. I'm like, that's Nate, you know, K9. I already said my name, I just said a rhyme. Take it to the next level, beat them with a shovel. Dig his own grave for him, make him meet the devil. I play the villain, man, you can play the good fella. Nice guys finish last, you ain't even passed the class Matter of fact, you ain't even study for it Rapping just your hobby, man, you trying to get some money for it? Yeah, I'm just setting the standard They can't do what I do, man, and you can't stand it Bring the hi-hat That's what I call my bougie flow, man It means I'm too funky, fresh and fly to be hanging out with you ladies I can do this with my eyes closed and my hands tied behind my back, you day. I used to do this for a living, I just do it cause I love living Yo, hear me though What's up, what's up, y'all? See, y'all see that right there? That's just a little bit of piece of the DC cannabis culture out here. That's that's a little glimpse right there. And we have right here the gift 420 DC right there. Y'all make sure y'all check them out, man. I love their logo. <coughs> this is their business cards. Um, please introduce yourself and let the people. Who's this? What's this right here, uh, man? This is SEM, the and these are our gifts. Look, look, we get niggas what we, we get gifts. It's the gift. We always bring gifts. Right, right. Mm -hmm. There you go, dope boy. You got something for you too, homie. Oh, 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 dang. That's what's up, man. Sweet potato pies, cookies, brownies, and then that's 16 oh, yeah. milligrams. Y'all yeah, know y'all. Oh, yeah. Y'all know y'all wrong with the sweet potato pies. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Y'all make it hard, man. <laughs> See, this is with oh, yeah. the edible game. Y'all make it hard just to have a look. You know when they say you don't eat the whole thing? <laughs> You can't give me sweet potato pie and say don't eat the whole so, thing, right, man. Take back in the two, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm here in trouble tonight, tonight, man. I gotta go to work at five o'clock in the morning. Man, you might as well call <laughs> off already, man. Go ahead, man. Please introduce yourself, man. I know you you gave us the visual. That was beautiful, man. Okay. Uh, explain a little bit more to people who you That's are right. and a little bit more of what y'all do, man. Ah, uh, well, I'm uh, Urban Chico Church of the Gift. We uh we are a creative place for uh, creators to come in and artists, musicians, come in and be able to work, create in a relaxed environment. You know, uh, we offer a lot of things, the podcasting, the room, we have different rooms set up. The, the place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just to come in and be relaxed. Our chef is wonderful, the greatest. Mm. You know, every time you come in, you're not gonna get the same thing. You and you get, you get food in there too. Where is that? It's uh, in Eckerton. Right there, North right. Capitol and Off Street. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I said the same thing when he said Eckerton, man. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm with. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> not too far from here. Right, right. And um, yeah. nah, I mean, that's cool, man. Cause it, um, in this area, that's really a lot of people do do that. Come together mm -hmm. in, in the office environment, kind of like we was talking earlier. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's kind of like you can't smoke. You can't do this, but exactly. you actually given this environment where you could be. Creative, however you feel, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and be able to work in a comfortable environment and like-minded people. Mm -hmm. You can fax, copy, print. You know, we we have everything accessible to you. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. when you was talking earlier, you specifically said this is not a popper. Yeah, it's not, no offense. No, no, offense it's, no we're not going to take no offense to this at all today. That's what but they see, do. When we said this, day. this is not <laughs> a popper. It's not a popper. This don't mean. That the grain ain't gonna be there. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? These people exactly. are giving you an uh, experience. an experience in yeah. a, in a creative space, a, a workspace. A, a, you said podcast. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that want to do shows. That's doing shows like I'm doing right now. Yep. Um, you might want to cut up more than what I'm cutting up. They letting you do whatever. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Within reason, that is. Right. <laughs> exactly. Always within reason. Within reason, right? <laughs> but um. And what else? What else? What else about 420? You know, gift DC, man. Because I, I see you said you guys we're, do the cooking. Look, you know, we we've been dealing a lot with uh, artists. Uh, we had recently the Battle of the Brushes, where mm -hmm. we put two artists live against one another. They had to make a magnificent painting in within an hour. 
Right, right. And he had to pick a subject out of a basket. Man, that's what's and up, man. And then the picture, the colors that they got are the colors that they had to use. Dane, that's, that's what you went to, Dane. Hell yeah. That's what you went to, Dane. The battle of the <laughs> battle, battle of the brushes. Yeah. brushes, man. That's right. Well, I got to learn the paint first. And all this. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. in the audience, gets, they choose the winner. Mm-hmm. And not only oh, do we yeah. offer that, we offer multiple curated experiences, whether it's your concept, our concept. Right, it's right. It's a creative mm-hmm. environment to be creative, be around people that have the same hobbies as you. Mm-hmm. And you know, stuff like that. You can feel mm. comfortable and just let and, your creativeness fly. Right, right. Exactly. And um, yeah. I, I heard you also mention earlier something about comedy as well, too. Comedy, right? yeah. On our, at our live brunches, we have uh, Antoine Fisher. He comes through with a few of his friends. And, and, and it's an organic comedy experience mm-hmm. because we're not just sitting you up on the stage and having you talk. It's actually you walk around. There might be some people painting. There might some, be some people just relaxing, enjoying the smoke. Right. Or whatever, you know, and he's just walking around and, and uh, just making everybody laugh, have a good time. Okay, cool, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, yeah, it's a good experience. You come back, sit back and relax. It's, it's not in your face. Right, right, right. You know. And then we also, oh, I'm sorry. We also have a loud brunch every Sundays, which offers, mm-hmm. whether it's infused food or non infused, you know, mm-hmm. everything is by donation, of course. We can come, the comedy is there or whatever event we may have painters one day. So literally, every time we come to the gift, it's going to be something different. So that's every oh. that's every Sunday loud brunch. Now, what's yeah. the time of your brunch? Yeah. You see, From one sun- to six. Yeah. From one to six, and that's straight up breakfast and yeah, mm-hmm. and lunch. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Man. Absolutely. We had, we had chicken and waffles this we last We do high Sunday. tea oh, yeah. all the mm-hmm. time, too. We have um, an infused dessert bar okay, cool. pretty much every day. We also have a happy hour. Pretty much every day as well. And how, how, how's been your you guys' reception to that man? That sounds awesome, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Every Sunday, man. Every how's, Sunday. how's the reception of that, man? It's it's been good. It's been good. It's, it's been so good, in fact, that we had an artist walk in a, a mile with a painting that he he came and uh, brought to the house. Dang. We've had people Muhammad bring their Ali. mothers to our events. Mm-hmm. You know? Now so. I forgot. So I had somebody reach reach out to me on IG this week, and they said, "Man, farmer, what's going on this weekend?" Uh, um, in D.C., look, every Sunday, she's just told you right now, every Sunday they have a loud brunch. There's a painting that he brought up mm-hmm. right there. And who, who brought that one? His name is Sean. Yeah, that shit. Nice, man. Yeah, what is, what is his... Uh, tw- uh, hey, Dan, did you I see did. that, Dan? No. That's P the Plug. Oh, okay. That's P the Plug did that. Did you see this one, Dan? No. He brought that, too. It was just out of love, man. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that you know, yeah, we're man. giving everybody an opportunity to come in and express themselves. Yeah. See, look, if y'all want to see this, y'all not going to see this on the on the camera real good. If y'all want to see this, make sure y'all follow. Nah, don't even zoom it in. Don't even zoom it in, DZ. Nah. <laughs> make sure y'all follow the IG page. That's right. Yeah. You got to go see it for yourself. You got to right. go see it for yourself. <laughs> hey, DZ, we ain't, ain't going to make you break no sweat today, man. <laughs> We have things that we offer in different mm-hmm. events. We pretty much have things running every single day. Like right, here right. coming actually this Wednesday, we have an erotic ice cream social. So we have an in-house gelato maker, which is vegan for all the vegan. Not the strain, there. y'all. Ice cream, gelato, <laughs> yeah, actually, the ice cream. Right. Right. <laughs> now you might get some gelato in your gelato, <laughs> but hey. Um, but yeah, it's an erotic event. It starts at eight o'clock until. And you're more than welcome. It's a friendly environment. I, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I started eight, eight, eight. Right. And I like knowing it's these right. things, man, because yeah. I do. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 And I do I do get a lot of people that always um <laughs> reach out to me and ask me what's going on in D.C. Because a lot mm-hmm. of out-of-towners and stuff reach out to me like, hey, what's going on in D.C. this weekend? Woo, woo, woo. You know, I tell them what I know off the top of the head, but it's mm-hmm. good to know there's people out there that's doing it consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could rely on at least every weekend you guys are doing something. All the time. So that's definitely what's up, man. Um, and uh, how do you guys feel about the cannabis movement in D.C. now, the I, culture out here now? I, th- I think I think people are a little shaky right now with uh, a lot of the raids and stuff that are happening. And uh, I think what we're <clears throat> offering, coming in, and if they come in and, and see what we have, babe, I think that'll get people in a more relaxed environment. Right, right. We'll get them because we want to bring the community back, get everybody back in in, in helping and to expand this community. And not only that, like it kind of goes back to what you said about branding. If you mm-hmm. brand your business correctly, like you shouldn't have any problems. Exactly. You should, you should be attracting the crowd that you want just exactly. off your branding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the way we brand, you know, Gift 420, you know, everything we do is classy. 
you know, we want everyone to feel comfortable. Nothing we mm. do is sleazy, nothing ghetto, none of that stuff. <laughs> 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 nothing like that. Because, you know, sometimes we have executives coming through. Right, right. just want right. to come and mm-hmm. smoke and, you know, do what they do. I mean, because you want good vibes. Exactly. You definitely exactly. Do. No matter what about. the people come there, you want good vibes. You don't want nobody stressing with their problems, man. Mm-hmm. Just thank the place for that, exactly. man. That's right. Now, if you come in there to get away from them kind of problems, this is the place for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. But and, uh, and we're we're giving you an opportunity to uh, we're giving you an opportunity to expand your network. Right, and that's because another you never thing, know right? who's going to be at the like you say like minded people, know. man. You don't have to worry about how the next man might feel about you mm-hmm. partaking in cannabis or whatever the case may be. No. You know what I'm saying? Why no you're just working? No judgment. Um, and then we need that more for our communities. Like you said, we need to be more outspoken. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if you're a resident. And we was talking earlier, a lot of people don't know this, but if you're a resident of District 5, let let your representative know how you really feel, man. Like, don't think because D.C. is legal right now, everything is sweet. Let your representatives know how you feel. Let them know you're tired of being outcast or treated like not the rest of the people. Come on now. More than 64% of the people, I, I want to say more than 70%, Squaga, you might know the number better than that, approve of cannabis in D.C. Mm-hmm. So it, it, all that misconception of looking at it with a crooked eye, man, that needs to be pushed out the way to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And to me, it seems like it's really, really happening a lot in District 5, concentrating in District 5, because I guess they still feel like they're the golden community for whatever mm-hmm. reason. I don't know. You don't live in Colorama Lane or whatever the hell. That's where the money at, <laughs> goddamn. But, you know, you just got to let your representative know that you, the people, and the people behind you, rep- that you voted this, you made it legal, and this is how you feel about cannabis. Mm-hmm. If you don't let them know, they're going to keep getting away with what they're doing because they have money behind them and they got businesses and all that spending money behind them. And, mm-hmm. and if they don't hear the complaints for the people, like I said earlier, if they don't hear the people nagging, they they don't think it's a problem. So they're not going to worry about you. And if you have something to say and you don't have the resources to do it, come to the gift. Exactly. Because there you go. Will set up your podcast and give you a place to have your voice. They go to plug right there. That's right. You heard come on it. by. That's right. <laughs> man, look, I, want, I definitely want to thank y'all for coming through, man. I'm so appreciative of y'all. When I even thank asked you. it, y'all just added one. was like, man, we down. And I definitely appreciate it because I love letting people thank know that these are the outlets that we do have out here. Mm-hmm. And these are the things that the D.C. community is doing out here. Not what the news wants you to see, but what the actual community is doing out here. How we partaking in the cannabis right. and all that. And there's nobody dying. No. There's no shooting over the cannabis. And there's we have no a- underage kids. No. Mm-hmm. It's not an, influ- mm-hmm. an influ- <laughs> It's not an influx of crackheads because it's an open gate drug mm-hmm. for a stronger... It's that all that is nonsense, and it man. Damn sure ain't K two. And we have an educational <laughs> curriculum that we're putting together. We got a financial literacy course that's coming up in October. So we, we've got a lot of things coming up that we want to uh, curate there at the gift to give people a chance to experience, uh, give them exposure to, or help them in their their process of right. becoming small business owners. In exactly, business. exactly. You pretty much just want to see everybody succeed in exactly. every way. Because you can do it. Everybody can do it. Like mm-hmm. if, you, if you think you have uh, something that's different or that can make you stand out from what we're mm-hmm. doing in our community mm-hmm. right now, do it. Do it. Exactly. Do it. Yeah. Um, this Let's community collaborate. supports its own <laughs> if, you, if you're being creative. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And notice how I said if you're being creative. <laughs> like if you're trying to bite off what somebody else is doing, people are going to see through that. Exactly. So uh, yes. mm-hmm. be original. It's the best time to be original right now. Um, with art, uh, uh, with music, with, comedy, food, and you, you, you get in the it, space man. for it, man. Like mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of people that I know personally live in Section Eight communities. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, don't worry, then y'all can test to this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not allowed to do anything. Mm-hmm. Even you can't dealing even smoke with a cigarette, you can't even smoke a cigarette. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So they're telling you how to live in your own house. So the fact that you guys have a space where people can actually go to and be safe and comfortable, don't have to worry about going to jail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that that's a blessing. And like I yeah. said, man, I thank y'all again for coming through, man. Thanks um, for having us, man. Appreciate you. One more time, yeah. let the people know where they can find you guys, man. One more time, <laughs> especially Sunday us. Sunday's time too, man. I'm gonna try to catch yeah, that. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday Sunday you had the loud brunch from one to six, 
And we are at uh, thegiftedfriends.com. Mm-hmm. And we are at uh, the Gift 420 DC on Instagram and the Gift 420 on Facebook and Twitter. And then you can also catch us this Wednesday starting at 8 o'clock mm-hmm. for our mm-hmm. adult ice cream social. So, That's right. Real ice cream. Real ice cream. <laughs> Not the stream. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for coming through, man. We're going to be right back with our next um, guest at Exclusive Chief Master. So stay tuned, y'all. Used to get my peace from AZ. Mary Jane is the case that they gave me. Trish from the West Coast stop real fast. DC farmer show the masses how to grow grass. No till the method be attentive, slow learner. The raw sheets turn that gas to a slow burner. Big worm got the strains in variety. Jeff Sessions trying to fuck up the society. Cannabis community, rise up, eyes up. Fight for your right to light or eyes shut. Loud from the motherland. I'm getting high in stadium. Super gas, no clone, it grown with vibranium. Try coke chasers, cancel of the grower. Self sufficiency, that's how we need our smokers. Alien dream turn girl scouts into soldiers. Smoking those Contact if you come closer. Every Monday, 10 to 11 p.m. Focus on that grow, watch the show with your BM. Comedy but interviews, real lit. The DC Fama show, educate real shit. The DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. Is the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. Is the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. Is the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. I want to grow my own shit. Is that DC Fama? That DC Fama? Lemon haze had them stuck, nigga. Baby lungs can't fuck with you. I'm in the building like fuck the system. I'm puffing heads I'm a fucking menace. Cause I slump the witness when I smoke. Don't get you high, so nigga, mind your fucking business. Slow down. My bad. In high school, I was in high class. Graduated with a 3.5. Now the teachers buy my gas. Ride pass. 12. Middle finger erect. Fuck them. DC Fama got a new strain. So we gon' puff it. <laughs>
it ablaze. I don't even blame you niggas, y'all just set in y'all ways. Don't get jammed up and wake up with a tech in your face. It's a marathon, slim, don't get left in the race. Trump bitch ass, wanna see the death of my race. I'm a OG that G-O, so I was smelling like B-O. Make you smile, no Neo, like the pop with my amigo. If you can't blaze with our puff, nigga, you used to that huff, nigga. Lemon haze had them stuck, nigga. Baby lungs can't fuck with you. I'm in the building like fuck the system. I'm puffing as I'm a fucking menace. Cause I slump the witness when I smoke, don't get you high. So nigga, mind your fucking business. Slow down. My bad in high school, I was in high class. Graduated with a 3.5. Now the teachers buy my gas. Ride pass, 12, middle, finger erect. Fuck em. DC farmer got a new strain. So we gon' puff it. <laughs> Whole lot of gas here, people. A whole lot, <laughs> whole of, lot gas. of gas. How y'all doing today? Man, man, we doing beautiful out here on stage. And it is, look, it is a whole lot of gas on here. Obviously, ironically, on stage here today, because I guess they must have known that the exclusive chief master was going to be in here. They should. It, I, I see it's a whole lot of gas going on on the table. Please introduce yourself to the people. Well, people know me as Chief Woods, better at Chief Master. I've been doing the pop up for about two years and a half, right around when it first started at uh, Cities. You know, move to Cities, yeah, Layla, all them jumps. Uh, my man, uh, District Dad, was the one that brought me into the situation. Shout out to him. Um, I probably wouldn't be doing it if he didn't bring me into it, honestly. And then um, from there, I just ran with my man DMV Highlight. We've been rocking ever yeah, you since. you talking about Jay from this, Jay District Diamond? Yeah. I, I didn't, that's news, that's news right yeah, now. Yeah, he brought me in that. this, you know what I'm saying? Nothing yeah. but love. I be joking on it, but it's all jokes. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is. Yeah. It's bad, thick skin, man. Yeah. You gotta know what the joke is. Joke is a joke, yep, right? Yep, yep. You know. I had, uh, I, I actually had uh, uh, Strain Chases right when we was doing the... Uh, Oh, DC's Frogger's event. Oh, yeah, he so, no longer has a beard. Yes, Trey yeah. Chase hit, hit, us, hit, hit me with a good one, though. He said we looked like, I, we had a picture, right? Oh, yo, and yo, he said we looked good, like, good, like uh, <laughs> the color be bad, crew, dog. Oh, I said, damn. Man, I, I died laughing, dog. Like, I had to come back. Like, he was joking on his heart, dog. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one, dog. I had to laugh at that one. I couldn't even get mad. I said, die, 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 <laughs> yeah, he got that beard up off of him. I played quarterback. Actually, I'm the guy that got that beard up off of him. Now, what's up with DMV highlights, man? Oh, yeah. That's my guy right there. Okay, okay. So, it's a, it's a, it's a positive thing, right? Because you always be like, hey, DMV highlights. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. It's like we go back and forth with the jokes. Usually, my jokes are better than his. But, uh, yeah, we just go back and forth. So, you know, just to entertain the crowd that be watching Instagram because half the time you be born. You know, we be bored, so, you know, we just like to entertain I people. I kind of appreciate it, though, man, because in, in between your entertainment and Instagram, sometimes you guys call out, like you said, you be joking, but yeah. you be calling out bullshit when you see it in your jokes, right? And you notice when it hits somebody, when they got something to say back or something, you know, like, <laughs> oh, 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 he and his feelings on that one. I notice that between replies sometimes, right? But I got you here today because of your marketing, man. Your 
marketing strategy, your marketing skills. You don't let shit phase you, man. Excuse my language, but you don't. You keep it moving. Now, I, I mean, I, I, what do you, what do you attribute that to, man? Uh, basically, man, my parents, both of you, man, because like, they all self motivated. They own their own businesses, so. Right. Uh, I used to work for Toyota. He used to work for all them places, man. And then it's like, the story was, I was driving to work one day, on a Monday. And I seen this big ass fucking yacht on a Monday morning. And I'm like, yo, this motherfucker is straight chilling on a Monday. Mm. <laughs> I need to be like that, you know what I'm saying? Work. So it was like, from that point on, I was just like, man, I'm going to just go full head into the, the pop-up thing, which, you know, it ended up being a good thing. Because, you know, if you have a gift, you're technically not, you know, selling weed. But if you ain't got shit on your table, you just trapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might yeah, as well keep that shit yeah. at home. That's why it's kind of fucking up, you know, the pop-up thing. Because motherfuckers ain't gifting nothing. They just giving out pieces of paper. Yeah. And that shit don't cost no fucking 40 or $25. That shit like five cents. So, <clears> like... And that's pretty much what we talk about. Yeah. Like, the gray area is so big. Yeah, man. Ain't nobody is. saying you can't do it. You just got to be creative with the yeah. fuck you're doing. You pretty man. much do, man. And then, like, to protect yourself, if you <laughs> live in D.C., I would advise everyone to get a card just to protect yourself. Right. Because, like, that shit protects you so much. It gets you out of so many jams. Your shit get thrown out. You, don't, you know what I'm saying? The only thing you got to probably deal with if you got money on you. They going, you know, stiff you for that shit. But <laughs> other than no, that, 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 that's definitely yeah, they been doing for real. Shit. On some yeah. on real note, that's some straight up good advice. Yeah. Uh, me and my uncle just finished having this conversation where he was telling me, "Look, I know you're doing your thing. You you fucking doing what you got to do. You going woo woo woo. Get your car. Yeah, because you can go car, more. Because they can't fuck with you even if they fuck with you. Yeah, they right. really like can't because you, you protect it. Comes to the point where they where you end up going to court. Most likely, they're going to throw your fucking shit out. Bro. They really are. That's you know what, what happens. Saying? So, I done got I, caught so that many is some times. That's advice that I just <laughs> gave recently from my uncle as well. Like, you know, he pulled me to the side. So, I'm going to be working on that myself, too. Because I, I was of the mind, my mentality was like, fuck, we wreck out here. I don't need no car. I'm not getting Technically, we <laughs> ain't wreck. Yeah. Technically, we not wreck with medical. You know what I'm saying? You just got... I mean, it's only to protect you. And you don't want... Honestly, I wouldn't go to the dispensary and, and, and buy shit That's what my uncle me. said, too. Like, yeah. I feel how you feel, probably. I don't need no cover. But that's my uncle said just as a backup plan for yeah. protection. You yeah. don't like me. Yeah. Well, Scrog is different. We all know why Scrog is get away with shit. They got Scrog in the face like, look, we never Fuck this guy. Yeah. Right. It's about that. It's about uh, when the system knows who I am and where I live, then it's like, let's press him You like... I, See, I look at you as, uh, do you know Black the Ripper is? Yeah, I know who that is. He out in London, yeah. yeah. You're like him out here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he got some gas, too. He got a whole lot of gas over there. England. That's the dank England, yeah. Yeah, dank of England. They got that dank over there, for sure. They got that fire. They got that fire. They flying over there. They got that fire. Over there. They got that fire. 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 Hey, Slim be fucking with the police and everything, man. Oh, man, smoking big doobies on the tube. Hell yeah. Huh. But that should be lit, though. Forward, though man. But, um, how, how do you feel right now out here about the cannabis culture, the cannabis game out here that you was talking right. about, the pop-ups, what people doing? But how do you feel how the game is going right now? There's a lot of huff out here. One. That's what I was about to ask you. Like, There's a lot of huff out here, man. It's not... Shit. Huh? Say that again? Like, how you feel about these strands and shit out uh, there? Strands. Technically, this is what I was told when I was in... Mm-hmm. California. They put a name on that shit. They name it they sell. If they grow it, they got the right to name it whatever the fuck they want. That is true. So it be turf, you know, it be clones. It don't be the, the mother half the time. So it's a lot of clones and it's mostly hydro out there. They don't really use soil. So it's just like you can get outdoor all day for the low light depths and y'all getting taxed on that shit too. Dang. So it's just like that shit look like indoor, but it's outdoor. Unless you know how to pick, it's almost like picking fruit at the fucking grocery store, man. When you, you gotta, go out there, you gotta know, yeah, you gotta know what you're looking do. for. And you honestly, you gotta smoke that shit first, and then you know run from the dead. But uh, a lot of that shit ain't even tested, so. And I'm yeah. glad you asked the question about the health, cause you brought up a good point about the prices. Like, 
you know, they yeah, the prices is decent, but you get what you pay for it. Right. Day, so you gotta pay to play. Yeah, 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 pretty much. You gotta pay pretty much. Hell you yeah. can't go get no huff and try to tax to it on no street yeah, model. Yeah, you know, can't pretty much. It's just like you can't. <laughs> You can't, it's just, it's, it's, it's you gotta like, pay to play. Yeah, yeah pretty too. much, man. Cause yeah. you don't really want to waste your money on it unless you know what the value of it is. So if you're going to pay, you know, 16 for some bullshit, you better, hey, you're you going to lose. I, I did that myself. Look, truth be told, I did that myself too, man. Ah, damn. I bought some motherfucking pack. The shit was dirt cheap. I said, shit, I can't pass this shit up. But when I try to sell that shit off like I do my normal shit, Man, I held on to that for a minute, man. Like, it would not that people don't want it. Nope. They don't want it. No nope. matter how best of a price you get for it, if your customers don't like it after that first time, they would not get it they again. They would not. Yeah. The competition out here is so fucking stiff. No, it's it really everybody is. Everybody got gas. You know what I've been hearing lately, though? What's that? A lot of people saying, I'm tired of OG. And the people that's always asking for OG. They don't know they, which one. See, I, it, they don't know what OG yeah, really that's what is. Saying, honestly, a lot of people so don't like, know what OG they uh-huh. get. It's like it's so many hybrid strains. Out yeah, yeah. I didn't want them flavors. Yeah, I, 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 like, like, I like hybrids. I'm a hybrid guy. Yeah, at Man, first they yeah, want, they really. I, my, yeah, they didn't yeah. want it at first. They want the flavors all day. Now you be like, I got OG or nah, man. I'm looking for such and such. Oh man, look. Shit, when I used to the have new OG shit, out here. Really? Now you want the shit. I don't got the shit. Yeah. yeah, and there's definitely a lot of people throwing names on shit, but like I said, man, after that first puff, if that shit ain't good, man, it don't matter what it's called, man. I give it the I give it the first two. Nope. I give it the nah. first two pulls. Now look, and the reason why I say the first two pulls is I, I've been smoking for a long time, and I just be, I just want to, the second pull, the first pull is just to wake me up. The second pull to, the, is that tester, and I'm blowing it on my nose real now, slow. Look, check this out. You know. I don't promote nobody. I don't have shit against nobody. But me and him was talking right before the cameras came on, and we was talking about Runt. And if y'all had this experience in this chat, let me know. But I asked him about Runt, and he said the shit is some shit. But guess what? He's not the first person that told me that. I just had I just had Runt, and it's not all what everybody make it out to be. Yeah. I just bought a. I just had a whole quarter of it, and like. You had people that was asking for the gelato. They weren't even asking for the runs. Like, oh, I heard about it, but nah, let me get the gelato. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, over the runs. See? <laughs> right, right. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? You definitely got... Man, they only have runs in the dispensaries out Cali, really. So it's like, you they came out here to get that off because they really it wasn't really right. popping in Cali. Just be real. Mm. Like, it really wasn't. So like DC is normally to take people's garbage honestly, whether they like it or not. But you gotta remember, man, we always we the always, last yeah, day. We always we get the last yeah, day everything though. It so go through everybody. We the bottom of the bottom. So it's like we always gotta go out and make sure we get out yep. on top of when they get theirs. Cause if we yeah, don't, yeah. we gonna be short sure every time. Yeah. You know, like I know that. that yeah. Yeah. Look for his own that's fucking that's the movement. Other than that, that, other than that, kind, sitting yeah, still yes, not gonna get you I no do. money, man. If you try to get some money, <laughs> sitting still not gonna get you no money. <laughs> like Standing on like the block is not gonna get you no money. Right like yeah. it's, it's, it's no, nah, only go honestly, I only get one strain while I go to Cali. It's that white kind. Other than that, everything is foo foo for you real. For real. You say white, man. I tell y'all, man. I ain't gotta promote it. Everybody that is bothering me about white Kanye. He's a funny motherfucker to me, but other people would say he's like arrogant, annoying. <laughs> but me, that like me, that just fit perfectly with me. You know what I'm saying? That's like a sidekick. Are you annoying? So am I, bro. We sit fit right in and let's get on the seesaw together. You know what I'm saying? Huh, right. So it's like I, you know, I met him like the first time I met him was at Kush Stop, and like we were cool ever since then. I ain't had a mask on or whatever. Cause usually I ain't gotta go over there with no fucking mask on. I come right. over here, I don't really want motherfuckers knowing what I be doing. Cause I be back and forth. So it's like right. you can see my face every now and then, but it's like you don't really you know who I am. Yeah, cause That's I'm going to pop up right now, and they wouldn't even know who I was unless I had this brother's OG shit on or like my shit. They wouldn't even know who I was cause they always trying to you know get me to donate. But no, not that. <laughs> no, no, How thank you. How do you feel about the pop up scenes out here, man? I mean, now it it was cool. It was cool. Like honestly, I like the pop ups. It's uh, it's a good way for to get you know certain people, some type of brand. You know what I'm saying? I joke about it being dead. It, it only died. Let's be real. It only really died when 
spaceship left. Let's be real about it. When the spaceship left, everybody was like scrambling, trying to find like, because, you know, a lot of people didn't use the spaceship like they were supposed to use. They just used it to trap. They ain't right. use it to market they so so shit. I, I ain't it was nights nice, I ain't even had to go to spaceship. People just came to me. So it was like that's when you know your marketing skills. You ain't gotta go every night. You can go maybe once or twice a night. Right. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, I'm not paying fucking to trap. Like I don't pay to trap. Right, right, like right. the fuck. I'm not paying that's that. Backwards. Like like some prices be reasonable, some prices do not. Yeah, I came like I came into the jump with a hundred and like I you know I fluctuate one fifty. I mom wants I pay hers anything because you know she got that crowd where you know even though she don't you know the pop up thing people get scared and it kind of died down. But when she had her festival, it was like her crowd came back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if she got the space for it, you know her crowd is always popping. If you know if you ain't got that space for it, it's you know. You don't want, you know, because it draws attention whether we like it or not. Yeah, like, police like it. I was about to say, yeah. Man. Yeah, they, they, they say really they do. Got a lot of people start snitching on the pop ups. Yeah, I mean, it's vendors you know? snitching on so, pop up, vendors snitching on vendors. <laughs> That, that shit is hilarious to me. That shit hating. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that shit is hating. Yeah, yeah. They hating. Oh, the, the first thing I picture is that bam on belly and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rico. I like that shit right there. Rico. Nah, I like that shit. I'm about to drop a dime shit. on them niggas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to drop a dime on them yeah, niggas. Pretty much. That happens to a lot. I know a few good people that happen to, you know what I'm saying? They sort of in a situation where they can't keep, you know, they keep going in these pop ups and getting, you know, they, you know, keep getting themselves further into a mm. hole and hole to where they got to take fronts. So I'll be like, yo. Step away from the pop ups, get yourself out that hole, and then go back to that shit. Cause it's like you keep taking L's, man. You gonna be, she gonna be in more debt than going to college out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know, fuck that shit. You don't want to be in debt. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, I just beat that shit, man. I beat. Bro, it's like they drag that shit on for the longest if they know they ain't got shit on you. Like, That's they'll drag they that shit on for about a year if they know they ain't got shit on you. And then you just, like, sitting with your hands like, what the fuck? Got you taking piss tests? They don't even fucking drug screen for marijuana, but they got you coming down there to take piss tests in mm-hmm. D.C. Yeah. That shit just don't make sense. They piss test for K2, though. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't go down there with that oh, shit, shit. shit. You got shrooms in your system, dude. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. That shit I don't know. That spice. Man. Call man. it spice down there. That K2, man. K2, yeah, man. I remember K2 popped off in 04. That nah. shit looked like KB. Now that mm. shit just look horrible now. Nah, they got something else out here now. Um, it's CBD. No TAC in it. It come in a job. No, nah, that's good for you. CBD yes, flowers yeah, is good for but you. That, that's what I'm saying. They switching it up now. Oh, so yeah. They, they no start more. pushing CBD that's flowers. That's good. Yeah, I would yeah, advise you. CBD. Too, though, was it not supposed to be an alternative to cannabis? Oh, that, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be. Yeah, it was supposed, supposed to be. But it's yeah, supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. End up killing motherfuckers and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, that shit make you feel weird. Let's just like... That shit makes you feel weird. Yeah, I, don't I know. know. I, I smoked like it for I five years. I know. Now, yeah. look, I know our city uh, is definitely big on the... I see you got sauce and um, oh, dabs yeah. and all that. Our city is definitely big on that. Now, I know you travel back and forth between Cali and, and D.C. Now, you have to have a... a I would imagine a, a, a eye for at least sauce and, and diamonds and all that stuff they call. Because uh, how do you differentiate... You know, how do you, can you tell the bad from the good? Usually the on the quality you go by the coloration and then yeah, the, the smell and then you shit you gotta smoke that shit too. So yeah. after all the smell and the look, you gotta go on and smoke it and then that's how you know, honestly. But yeah, I would usually go for the more clearer shit like Diamond Band right that's now. Another, yeah. The reason I ask that's another that's thing. That's what I was looking for. That's another thing that's yeah, that that's shit's a, yeah. it's a lot of that be garbage too. Or what that's easy to get. Like it's so easy to get. Can't get this unless you go to Cali. Yeah. Can't get this. And that, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like it's so like how that and that's why I was asking, like, how don't. can someone that don't really deal with it often and you said one of this coloration for sure. Um, so you, you kind of want to stay away from that dark looking tar shit or something or? Yeah. Like the only person I know that probably manufactures yeah, their diamonds here would be District Extract. District 
Mystic yeah, I know he has diamonds here. So like that's the only person I know personally that. And I be trying. You know, to I, that was the first that person wax. I tried dabs. You know, I got from him. Like, but I ain't do it right. Like I actually got the dab, got that shit stuck in my hand. Y'all need to get like like he was saying. Y'all need to get the hood on the dabs, man. Tell, tell me again what I'm telling you, dabs. But uh, that's what I was trying to school my little young niggas on. Like they be going to all these pop ups and they be like, oh, though I got. This they be showing me, they be geeking to show me they wax. I be looking at them like, man, look, that's not the, that's not that. They Should be, be like, wow. I was spit, like, right? first of all, it it's not gonna break down all muddy like that. That's the oh, bottom of the barrel. Soup. They giving you the last that of the Mohegan. Soup. They taking the good and smoking the good and selling y'all the last that was at the bottom of the barrel. A lot of people don't know that. That's why I be trying to tell them. They be thinking, oh, you think you know a lot about Canada? I do. I've been to school for four years and do it. I worked at a hydroponic shop, so I know what I know. Man, yeah, that's trim. That's trim all day. You know what I'm saying? We got them trim slabs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like trim slab to me. That yeah, goes be, 200 uh, all day. And they be coming back thinking that they got nice buds and all that. But I be trying to tell them, like, a lot of people from Cali, they don't know. They put the buds through the trike before they send it over here. Yeah, you order and it look good right now. But by the time they get over here, every, all the TAC done stuck to the bag. Yeah, Like, they don't, they don't know that. But I be trying to school them. Because I, I done went through. I'm from the streets. You know what I'm saying? So You might don't even get what you saw in the goddamn picture. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. True, you know what I'm saying. So, unless you know somebody that's down there, you know what I'm saying. Other than that, it, you ain't Facts like shit right there. You ain't there, getting nothing. That's just crazy. Motherfuckers try though. They yeah. try their best. It's all yeah. If you a professional vac sealer, you you good. You know what I'm saying. You know I just know when that white Kanye come in, I ain't got no problems on how it looks. I just know it's gas and motherfuckers. And that white that Kanye shit. come in. Now is that just the white Kanye? Is that just in the um, um What I was told is gelato, wedding cake, and OG. That's why it's Oh like Lord. That. That's so a that three hell of a combination. You also have that in flowers. Yeah, I got that shit in diamonds. Motherfuckers is faking on it. <laughs> you know why? Cause they go night night on that right. shit. Straight up the flower Dang. put you out. So just imagine if the diamonds did. That's why they scared. Right, they right. they they be wanting that gas, but when I bring it, nah. I got to hit no it. No parts of that. I got to hit it. Yeah, it sounds like it's that. better than that gas gift. So you know, no, what I'm saying? I got to hit it. He talking about he. No you ain't listening. He said in wax form. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to hear some of this? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want to try some of this? I'm going to try. Go ahead. Hey, squad, go load them up. I got this mask on. It's going to be hard. Load them up. Take them to the moon. All right, we're going to wrap it up after this day. Yeah. Hey, this oh. That's gonna, why I say he, want, he, want, want, he must was a lesson. He must was. He, he said he thought he had oh, that buds. Oh, no. He got the wax. He got that shit in there. That's one of the puff codes. Yeah, that's them puff codes. I'm speaking of which, they are. Tight. Don't kill me, strong. But I'm gonna be the real one to tell you. <laughs> Ain't nobody else gonna tell you this, young. They got y'all yeah, on them atomizers. That little shit. piece right here, that little shit, man. That shit burn out. I mean, it burned out for me because I'll be smoking that right, gas. Right. I didn't replace two of them little motherfuckers in the span of two weeks. Oh shit. Yeah, so it's like right. this little plate in there. Right. That shit burn yeah, out. Maybe they must know it so good they got that. Yeah, yeah, they they got that you shit on that. Light shit. Head all smelling it. But uh other than that, that John straight, other than that little bullshit ass malfunction. Yeah, so y'all need to step y'all game up on that one. Yeah. Stuff, that yeah, so put stuff, the flowers up. Yeah, tell them puff stuff they put the game. flowers oh. up. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna have such a nice product. Man, we yo, when we now went to the Dabathon, man, man we would Man, I'm telling you. So is it electric? Oh yeah. What it is is a US is a wireless dab rig. So you don't need that email no more. You don't need none of that shit. All you need is your terps and you just throw it in a little piece, press the button twice, and it'll vibrate, and then you pull. And y'all will give me be the test dumb, y'all. Yeah, what fuck man, you were he didn't Pass that shit to the left. Like, now nah, I don't want no pots of Is it working? Yeah, it's working. I see the whiteness. <laughs> oh, go yeah, that that's blowing. Now, you go that way. Go that way. Well, I'm trying to end the yeah. thing on a good note. I got to drive back. You're oh, going to be all right. That's nice. Like, they ain't take this hit. This gonna it's be still going. Hey, that's but good. Let, let the people know how they can reach you. Oh, yeah. I got uh, a few pages you can reach me on. You can reach me on Exclusive Chief Master Inc. That's if you want to, you know, come holler at me on the dabs and all that. And if you need yourself a chief wood, you got to go to 
official Chief Woods. And then now I just started a new page because, you know, you can't find these pop-ups. Everybody asking me for the pop-ups. Yo, Chief, where the pop-ups? Follow me at Premium 420 Events. That tastes good. You know, Premium 420 DC Events. You get all the pop-ups. We don't release the address. You got to ask the motherfucking person that's hosting it to give you the address. And if you ain't got no picture... No info. You ain't getting no info. So don't even ask. That's another thing. Like, motherfuckers be wanting to get information and got no information on their page. Nobody trusts that shit. Like, who would allow you to come to a party and you can't even see who you is? (laughs) So, like, that's like no face, no case. Don't even bother asking that, you know, for the address. Yeah, like, that's probably how a lot of people get him done. You know, get caught up talking to the cops. Hmm. You ain't gonna say no names. Hey man, <laughs> thanks for coming through. If anything, man, hit the man up with his white guy. Yeah, you need this I white guy. Yeah. I just took a slight joint, and that's nice. Yeah, yeah that's that, nice. That's that gas. I'm telling you. It's definitely that five. Hit him up on the white guy. He has the concentrate and the fly, and he also got other strains that you might like. Yeah. Like I said, follow him on IG, man. Thanks for coming through tonight. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Getting on my ass because I ran over time tonight. Thanks for dealing with me tonight, and thanks Thank for all y'all for tuning in and chat. And um, if I if y'all asked a question, I missed it, man. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's it for tonight, man. See y'all next week. All right, peace out. By my DC, by my show. It's that DC, by my that DC, by my that DC, by my. Shake. Used to get my peace from Izzy. Mary Jane is the kiss that they give me. Trips from the West Coast stop real fast. DC Farmer show the masses how to grow grass. No till the method be attentive, slow learner. The raw sheets turn that gas to a slow burner. Big worm got the strains in variety. Jeff Sessions trying to fuck up the society. Cannabis community, rise up, eyes up. Fight for your right to light or eyes shut. Loud from the motherland. I'm getting high in stadium. Super gas, no clone. It grown with vibranium. Try coke chasers, cancel of the grow up. Smoke us, alien dream, turn girl scouts in.